Uh, continuing straight on from our last video, we're going to find alpha C so we can find our member capacity. Uh, so before we do that, we need to get some more information uh, because now we need to find our effective lengths. So the uh, information we need is uh, the RX, RY, IX and IY of the column and also IX and IY of the beam. Okay, so you can get these straight from the one steel tables. And for our column, remember that it is uh, so it is a 250UC89.5 and for our beam it's a 310UB32.0 so we go to one steel tables and we can find uh, these numbers so I'm just going to quickly write them down we to always have the units 3.4 And we need these for our beams as well because we need to find our effective lengths. Alright, once we have these numbers, we can move straight on to finding our effective lengths. So, our effective uh, lengths, if you remember, is determined by the ratio of the stiffness of our columns over our beams. So that is determined by the gamma ratios, where we are both we have a gamma ratio for the top and bottom of a column. And for our effective length in the x direction, we're going to be looking at the east-west elevation or plane. Uh, so if you remember, we always have to split um, our frames into the x and y directions. And one thing in that I didn't do uh, in the first video, which I should have done, was to add the.